Hello everybody, today we're going to do something fun. We're installing an operating system called Red Star, which is the North Korean operating system that um, the supreme leader himself, who has superhuman powers, he actually designed this all by himself and coded the operating system and the kernel all by himself as he is the supreme leader and he knows everything. So, let's check it out. Let's see what the Supreme Leader's got for us. We're gonna go ahead and select the ISO image for Red Star Desktop. Alright, so the first screen meets us with um, some Korean. Probably an introduction on the operating system. There's only one option, so I'll click that. Uh, click OK. I'm gonna click this disk. If you go here, you can like change the partition types, I guess, and put in a name and change the size. You can add something and add other things. But we're not going to do that. Um, I think this one says OK, so I'm just going to hit the middle one to cancel. So click the hard drive and hit Next. And here is some, some stuff to fill out. Now, I don't know Korean, but I'm going to take a guess of what this says. It's probably trying to give the computer a name. So we'll do Korean computer. This might be username. So we could try hnerd for Hungarian nerd. This is, oh, that's a password, okay. So I'm just gonna set a password here. And this is something. Oh, and look at that. I get to change the picture too. Let's pick some peppers to make it hot and spicy. There you go. Spicy. Okay. And this is the computer name. DHCP DNS I understand that so it's gonna acquire an IP address automatically the time zone let's just use North Korea's I'm just gonna leave this as it is this is asking uh, I don't know what this is asking Oh, this is like the installation. Okay, so here it's like... Let's install all the options, how about... We want all the malware that comes with this. Just cuz. I don't know why, but we're installing all of it. Let's go! Alright, so after 500 years, we finally have our operating system installed put in our password we got a few options here um, okay that's what that does what does this do I don't know anyways so now we are logged into our red star operating system and it kind of looks like a Mac OS ripoff but let's check this out. So there's a red thing. A lot of different options. Um, this is like the folder. This totally looks like Mac. Get back here. All right, so I've never used a MacBook before, so I, I don't really know how to do it but okay so there's MySQL and Apache let's let's check out what's online uh, doesn't look like anything's loading can we go to google.com all right so I can't go anywhere and I don't know what anything says if I can guess it probably because we configured it with DHCP it can probably see that my IP address is not in North Korea 
so it's probably blocking my IP from entering the country and then I can't get to Google because this browser is probably engineered to not let anybody into Google so it's kind of like we're in a jail right now that's my ex that's my guess do we have a command like a terminal um, PDF What's this? Oh, these are the programs, okay. Are any of these a terminal? Man, this is weird. That looks like a terminal. Is this a terminal? That's... I don't, I don't know if this is a terminal. Because if I can get onto a terminal, then I could just start typing in shell commands and figuring out my way that way. Huh. You know what, guys? I'm gonna end the video here because I have no idea what I'm doing. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you had a good time.